What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we got a dinosaur. We got the Ultimasaurus. I didn't even know this dinosaur existed <laughs> until someone requested it. He's kind of cool. He's like, what is he a mixture of? He's like Triceratops T-Rex, maybe? Because he's got like, um, he's on two legs. And he's got like a Triceratops head. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's like T-Rex mixed, mixed with a Triceratops and like another dinosaur. Because he's got like the shell going on his back. Kind of cool. Um, so, I'm on landscape paper, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand, all that kind of stuff. So we can see his head, some of his back, his two hands here at the front, down here somewhere, and then a bit of his leg, kind of his thigh or something here. I couldn't fit in the tail or anything, but uh, we'll, we'll start with the head anyway. So, we'll start with his eye, right? So. <clears throat> Best way to draw this, I think. Yeah, just like standard sort of lemon shape, right? So we go up and around. Like that. And then we bring it down. Like so. So it kind of looks a bit like a lemon or an almond or something. Real small eye, right? And then his iris. I like to give these dinosaurs kind of like cat-like eyes, like especially these guys. Sometimes they have um, round pupils, but I'm gonna give them, it makes them look kind of more lizard-like, even though it's like a cat eye. <laughs> it's that long pupil sort of thing. So then, we've got some lines coming around his eye, right? So like top eyelid line here, line coming down this way and underneath the eyelid, kind of here. More coming around this way. So you know, he's a dinosaur, so he's got like all these wrinkles and stuff coming around his eye. So you can draw in as much of these as you want now. This kind of stuff. So then he has this horn that grows out of like his brow, so like his eyebrow, right? But the horn comes out of it, right? So it's just here. It comes up around like this. And then it'll go spiking out this way, right? Out like that. And then it curves around. It's not too pointy on top. It's got a little bend to it and then comes down like that, right? And then we have this brow sort of area along here. So it like comes down sort of the back of his head. It's all bumpy and stuff. It's back around here. It comes down around his eye, right? So you got like this section just there. And then this big frowny section. comes down towards his nose. This is all bumps and scales and stuff on it, so we'll, we'll draw those in as well. So the other side comes up this way. Right back that way. And we'll make this kind of, just put a line down here. And we'll make it kind of bumpy and stuff, adding these sorts of it's like a piece of bone or something, or like hard, really hard skin. Back there. And then we got like some more wrinkles and things, or some more bumps and stuff all up here as well. Some of these are kind of gnarly, so they're kind of round and... and then they become sort of skin down here. They get kind of smaller, and just normal, so kind of circles and stuff. Right, kind of like that. So at the front of this, then we have another horn that comes up a real stumpy kind of one, right? So it's like, comes around, comes up to here, maybe, and then back down. Right? One of those kind of horns. And then this will go back, join the rest of his head, so it just comes back and then in behind like that and we can see the other horn on the other side of his head coming out here comes up 
curves around and then comes back down and we get wider as we go down. So you want it to be sort of skinnier on top than it is down here. Like maybe a skin line or something there. So at the front of his mouth, we have another sort of tooth or kind of piece of bone or something that comes down this way, right? So it sort of comes down to a point at the front of his face down here. And then it curves back up to there. And then we go up around back to the bottom of this bone, right? And of course, all these can have like these texture lines and stuff. You know, you can add. as much of this as you want now. Stuff like that, okay? So then from here, we're gonna go back around for the shape for his mouth or his top lip, okay? So it kind of comes out from the corner here, comes down, back up. And eventually it'll come to another sort of bone sticking out here, right? So just under his eye, there's another horn that sticks out this way, right? So it goes sort of around here. And then comes down like so. And like that. And again, there's like texture and stuff on this. Right, so then we can add sort of some bumps around this. And then he's got a nostril somewhere up here. So we'll put it like here. Just a black sort of circle, not perfect, like an oval sort of shape. And then he has one of those sections, you know, that T-Rexes have and sort of Indominus Rex has kind of like this skin like section here. And then you can do some more wrinkles and stuff around his eye. Some scales, maybe. Maybe a scar. I don't know if you want scars. And like a top lip sort of bumping line like this with some lines coming down that way. And like all these wrinkles and things are just texture. So there's, there's no real rule. You're just adding them where you feel it needs them. Kind of like that, okay? So he has that big head that comes out. We'll do the top part of his head and then we'll do his bottom jaw, right? So the large, say like, so he's got like a bump for the back of his skull here first. Comes into there and this can have wrinkles and things on it. And then he has this round sort of triceratops kind of head that comes out this way, right? And it's an, it's an unusual kind of shape, right? So it goes out here and then back in this way. And then it kind of comes up around and down behind the horns. So say like here, so we'll just do the horn. So there, and then it comes around and joins across here. Like so. So then there's, you could have like an outer edge sort of line here. It comes down, sort of down that way. Just a light sort of line, you know, just with hatching and stuff, because it's not really smooth or anything. And there can be reptilian kind of bumps and texture and all the manner of things. Right, so something like this. Right, so then his bottom jaw, right? It'll come out from just beside this, right? So it'll come out this way. And go down around here. Mouth is open and then comes up like so. And then again, kind of like the front here, there's this sort of pointy kind of piece of bone there. 
can have some texture and stuff on it like that. Then the bottom lip. So he's got like teeth and stuff that come out from his bottom lip area or his gum. But we'll draw in sort of just the bottom jaw sort of line first. Comes up and then goes back underneath this tooth. And then we have the piece of skin that dinosaurs and other creatures have just here. Uh, what else? So we got like more stuff here. And then again, like a sort of bottom lip kind of texture or bumpy area there. Some lines coming down. Like that, right? And then, so the teeth coming up from the bottom. So they kind of, they come out from a gum, right? So we'll draw some teeth here. And we can see the bottoms of them. And they'll gradually kind of get bigger a little bit as we go down. that right and then it'll come around the inside of his mouth here And that's about it. So then on the inside, we can kind of see his tongue. One line going that way, and then maybe like the other side coming down inside here. Just goes down to the front, just around there. And then we should be able to see like some of the gum line, like in between the teeth, like some of where the teeth are growing out, you know, just in between them. Like that, and then something like that on the other side as well. So like, goes in behind these and then it goes in behind the teeth on the top sort of up here somewhere all right then the teeth on the top okay so yeah so like they're kind of small at the front here can't see the gum line on top here Some in behind on the other side. Like this. And some big ones on the other side of the mouth as well. It's just sticking out. You know, because we can see like the underside of his mouth as well. So we got to draw in some teeth just that we can see back there. Okay. So more lines maybe just going back to the back of his mouth. Back there. All right. So that's, that's his head. So then we'll go and do his neck. So neck comes down this way. And then the front of the neck down here. It comes in like that. 
And I think he's got, this is like where the armor plate starts as well. And there's all these lines that come down for his neck. Just there. And then we have, so like another bump there for the front of his chest. We get the main shape for his back and everything, and then we'll add all the texture and stuff, right? So there's armor all coming back here with spikes on it. Okay, so you got say like we'll go back this way first on top. So right, you add like a little spike every now and then. Right, so each one of these is like a plate of armor. Right, comes around like that, and then another one, bit of a spike starts to come down that way. We'll just keep adding these, and like the spikes get real big, then sort of up here, kind of like that, and come around the bottom. We did the bottom ones first. Might as well just do the bottom ones. There's like a step up here and then goes all the way. Off my page. Right and then Here. So we're starting to curve down, follow the spine this way now. Right, like that. And then I'll just thicken up some of these lines down here, just the sort of the edges of this. Just add some shadow to them. Like so, then what do we need? We need arms and stuff, so. Right, so, so like his arm at the front here, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a stumpy little T-Rex sort of <laughs> arm. No offense, Mr. Ultimasaurus, but it like comes across like so. Like that, and like the crook of his elbow would be in here. So the other side of the arm will come around bend around like this. Or it comes down this way. And it just it bumps down kind of to a finger that sticks out here. But we'll just add the shoulder and things like that here. There's all these sort of 
skin lines and wrinkle lines and stuff for his arm. That kind of thing, right? Okay, and then two fingers down here, right? So, like, real sort of bumpy kind of comes around like this. And then it goes up the other to the side here. And this is like all scales and wrinkles and things. And a big spike. Here. All right, and then the other finger kind of comes down. It's like a real short one, so you can't see it. You can go, it kind of goes around the back of his hand here. Like so, and then we can see a little bit of his thumb sticking out the other side there. You can, we can add texture and wrinkles and things all on his arm if you want. Kind of like that. And then his other arm comes out from the other side. We can kind of see a bit more of his hand now, so. this and then we go to like a long finger down here it's kind of like this one comes around bumping big claw on the end there and then the other finger comes down like so Big claw here, and then his thumb, sort of thing. Like that. Right, so then we just gotta get in like a bit of his leg. So it's like his knee, his foot here and he's got like some plates just on the top of his foot that we can see just here then the knee goes in behind his elbow and kind of his thigh like he's got a big like thigh muscle going back this way lots of sort of lines like this on it and then the other side of his foot comes out around to the back of his calf there and we've got like Sort of a knee area here, calf muscle going down that way. And again, more wrinkles and things. And then his big thigh muscle. Gonna go back that way towards the back of his tail. All oh, back that way. Right, sort of wrinkles and stuff on his leg and all this kind of stuff coming around his body. And then the bottom of his body comes back this way all the way towards the tail. Like so. And then his leg on the other side comes around underneath. There. And then his foot comes down there and you might see some more wrinkles sort of lines and stuff there. So on his neck then we got like texture and sort of shadows and big veins and all this kind of stuff. So you just like add those like this. Coming around like so. Down then. You can add as much of this kind of stuff as you want now. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be loads of it. Just some 
lines in between, like skinnier lines then. Mm -hmm. And again, scales and bumps and as much of this kind of stuff as you want, sort of on his armor and everything, so. And then sometimes, if you want, you can like thicken up your edge lines. You know, the lines around the jaw. Just make some parts of them stand out a little bit more. Sometimes it helps. this forever you know adding extra detail as much as you want really I think that'll have to do it. That's how to draw Ultima Source from, well, from Jurassic World, I think, or is he from the video game? I'm not sure. Never seen him in any of the movies. But uh, that's it. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.